Hey everyone, have you ever heard about this open source project called AirBadge? What it does is it allows us to take authentication and payments and makes them work so well together. Now, luckily we have the creator of this open source project, Josh, that's here. He's going to tell us all about it. So Josh, why don't we tell folks a little bit about who you are and what do you do to start off with? Okay. Thanks, Cecil. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Josh. Uh, I'm a software developer. I uh, used to work at uh, Shopify in the payments infrastructure. And uh, now I do a lot of open source stuff. I'm in the uh, Stripe sponsorship program as well. Nice. Now, you have this project called AirBadge. I'd really love to know, first of all, what made you decide to start working on and build this project in the first place? Okay. So the last time I was building a SaaS, I kind of like skipped out. I know I do a lot of payment stuff, but I, I figured I can do the payments a little later. And so when I launched the project, uh, I didn't have payments on day one. And it kind of made it a bit hard for me to uh, gauge like the signal, get the signal of whether people were using it and willing to pay for it. And so I wanted to create a tool that would make that easier in the future. The next time I launch, you know, my next project, that it's super easy to, to accept to have people sign in and pay on the on day one. So now you created AirBadge, which is great. So for folks that you know have never heard about AirBadge before, like, could you give us like the three second, three minute elevator pitch, like? Like, what is it? What does it do for us? Um, why should developers care about it? Yeah, so I have I have a slide if, if you want me to show, but um, or should, should, um, basically AirBadge is a, is a, is a system that, uh, it's a billing system that connects authentication and payment. So it's basically trying to save you two weeks of work. You know, if you were to go and integrate Stripe and your, your auth system and handle all the housekeeping with unit tests and integration tests, you know, it takes a bit of, it takes a bit of effort. So this, the, the job of AirBadge, the thing I'm trying to solve is to sort of remove that uh, two weeks of work. And what I've done is I've integrated um, uh, Vercel's Auth.js, which provides tons of authentication options, passwords, OAuth, and on the other side, integrating it with uh, Stripe Checkout. So it basically means you don't have to build any of these any of these parts. So like if you look at a normal, uh, a typical app, you would normally have these three steps when people sign up, people would authenticate, you know, whether your password or OAuth, then they would pay, and then there would be some housekeeping. So these three steps are provided by AirBunch, so you don't actually have to build any of this. Nice. So then if I'm building an application and I want to sign in with Google, for instance, and then use Stripe for payments, right? Like AirBadge essentially like brings those worlds together. So my you know, my payment account and information could be associated with my Google account. And as a developer, like I don't have to do as much of the gymnastics to kind of merge those two worlds together, right? Like AirBrush kind of helps exactly. make that an easier situation for me. Exactly. You just have to build, you know, the features that you're, you care about, that your customers care about, and you don't have to worry about uh, the billing integration code. Got it. So now, so we talked about a little bit about what AirBadge is. Who Who is this for? Like, is this... Is this a Ruby thing? Is it a Python thing? Is this a JavaScript thing? Like what type of developers is this targeted towards? So uh, it's a JavaScript thing. Uh, right now it works with uh, SvelteKit. Uh, we're hoping as well in the future to support uh, Next.js as well. Nice. Well, I'd love to see how you get started with it. Do you have, like, is there like a getting started script or a, a template or something? Yeah, like sure. That? So Basically, we have a pretty, it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, we have a uh, setup uh, template. So if you run this PMPM create error badge, that'll get you set up with a basic uh, 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 code repository. And then you can just uh, sync your database. And then we also have this uh, handy command that will like set up your Stripe. It'll, you know, set up your environment variables and all that. And then all you got to do is create pro your pro products inside Stripe and you're, you're ready to go. Nice. Well, why don't we take a look at a demo? Because I'd really love to see what this thing can do. Okay, so I created this uh, demo, which is like a, a very simple site that has two products. So imagine that I want to sell some videos online. So I want people to be able to buy the video and then only once they bought it, can they uh, view it. Now to buy it, they do have to sign in and pay. So that's the part that uh, AirBadge is handling. I created two products inside Stripe. So when I click buy now here, it'll kick off the, the sign up flow. You see, it asks me, I have GitHub configured. So it asks me to sign in with GitHub. And once I do that, It'll shoot me into a Stripe checkout, and you'll notice it already knew my ID, so it was a, it got configured for for link. So that saves a couple steps right there. I hit pay, and it'll then shoot me back. And now you see the button change. Now it says I am able to watch the video. If I click on that. I can I can see the stream. 
And if I try to watch a video that I haven't paid for, like the other uh, course, um, I get access denied. So it's able to check, uh, you know, for, for purchases. That was a really great demo, Josh. Really appreciate y'all uh, showing that to us. So one of the things that I saw in there that I thought was really interesting was the fact that you went really quickly between signing in to checking out to getting being able to watch this course, right? And as a developer, I'm thinking about all of the steps that are involved in there. Like one, obviously setting up the auth provider, and then two, you know, collecting my credit card information. And like you mentioned, you're using something called Stripe Link, or I think it's called Link by Stripe, where you're able to just, you know, store some credit card information to allow really quick, fast checkouts, right? But then now there's also an authorization aspect to it as well, right? So like you were you were denying me when I didn't have access to the course. And now that I can, I, I'm allowed to come in. So like there's permissions in here, there's authentication in here, there's payments in here, and it's all kind of bundled together, right? Inside of, um, inside of Airbatch. Exactly. Yeah. So like, um, actually there's data that's in the session that'll, that'll give you all that information. So you see here, I'm just for debug purposes, I'm, I'm dumping out the data that's in the session. As you see, it has the, my user data that's, that's for, AuthJS, it knows my name uh, coming from, you know, has my avatar from GitHub. But then it also has my purchases. So this is the Stripe uh, IDs that I that I bought. And so it knows that I bought the SaaS course. So that allows me to gate uh, content, uh, you know, based on the user's purchase history. Nice. And then this is the session from AirBadge itself, right? And AirBadge manages this for you. Exactly. AirBadge is providing this in your session data. Nice. Well, I'd love to see how you actually built this. Can we switch over, look at your editor and see some code and, and see what it takes to wire this up? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so what I did is the first thing is I have a list of, uh, of, of products, videos. Um, obviously, a lot of sites might do this in a database, but in my case, I just have two videos. So I just have a, an array. And um, what I have in that array is I have the, the ID and the ID maps to the Stripe price, to actually the lookup key of the Stripe price. And, um, you know, I have a price, it's $59. And then this is the video ID. I'm using Cloudflare streaming. So this is a, a video that's private that you actually, for a user to watch, you have to like generate a signed video URL. So by default, nobody can see the video. They have to, they have to buy it first. And um, then what I do is to, for this page, to, to show this page, I'll show you the code for that. Um, all I do is uh, here on line seven, you see I, I iterate through each video. And I show the video title and the price, that's this here. And then there's a button, right? And the button is conditional. So it's either watch or buy now. And to, 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 based on whether the user purchased the video or not. So that's how that's how we check. We say, hey, session purchases, does it, does it include this video ID? Then, okay, they bought it. And then in that case, we'll show the watch button. If not, they haven't bought it. And in that case, we want to send them to this billing checkout with the ID of this video. And that's a, a URL that's actually uh, provided by Airbatch. So that will shoot them into the sign in over a slash checkout uh, process. Um, now I can also show you this page here as well. So if we go into this page, put them up in my code, um, it's this. And so on the server here, we have some logic as well to check to make sure the user purchased the video, right? We don't want to let them watch unless they paid. So it's again, it's very similar code where we check if the purchase includes this, uh, this video. Uh, if not, we send uh, you know error access denied. Otherwise, we actually sign we generate the signed URL that the video player needs to display the video. So as you can see, it's very little code to to integrate all the stuff together. Yeah. Nice. Well, you know what I would actually love to see is well, how do exactly do I plug in those different providers? So as you're showing the demo, like you you showed us Google, you showed I'm sorry, you showed us GitHub, but I'm sure you support other types of auth types as well. How do I how do I bootstrap that inside my application? Uh, yeah, so that's happening. And there's a there's a file here, uh, a file called um, it's not server. And basically, in this file is where you would define like your kind of middleware for for StealthKit. And so we basically have this here, which defines all your config for AirBadge. Um, and what you need to specify is the database. So here I'm using Prisma, but you could use Drizzle or you could use uh, Mongo. And there's a bunch of options. And then you can specify your provider. So I only specified GitHub, but if you wanted to, you know, you could add uh, you know, Apple, Google, it's, and, and then all you need to do is configure the, um, the credentials for that, that provider in your .env file. 
So essentially, like any provider that auth.js supports can work. And you could essentially just plug that into AirBadge and it'll just do the right thing, right? Like it'll go ahead and trigger that out for you. Exactly. Awesome. Well, hey, Josh, that was amazing, man. Like, thank you so much for showing us um, how this works, how this gets set up, um, as some of the configuration options that we have available for um, for AirBadge. I'm really curious. I know there's more features that you didn't show us because this was a short video. What are some of the other things that folks that are building applications, building SaaS um, pro products and companies can look forward to as they put this into their products? So uh, basically, I think uh, what, you know, another big one probably is subscriptions, of course. So you know, being able to build like a SaaS type site where people subscribe, it's very similar code. Um, and also coming down the line, we're going to also have support for teams. So being able to have multiple users sharing a, a subscription or a purchase. Like imagine in my video site, I wanted to have uh, many people on a team access the video. So it's going to be able to handle those kind of scenarios as well. That's awesome. That sounds really great. Um, so, so Josh, again, thank you so much for coming on. For folks that have watched this video, what would you want them to do now? Like, what's the next step for you? Like, what would be helpful for you? How could they help out the project? How could they learn more? Awesome. And thanks, Russell, for having me. Yeah, I, I think uh, only the next step would be to check out our Getting Started Guide. And so you can go to airbadge.dev and click Get Started. Um, we also have a Discord channel if you want to hop on there. If you have any questions, uh, we're starting up a community for that. And yeah, I mean, just set it up and get, give it a shot and get, give us some feedback. Awesome. Again, thank you so much, Josh. And thank all of you for watching. Again, if you're in the business for, you know, building applications that have payments involved and have authentication involved, which I'm sure it's a lot of us, uh, definitely check out AirBadge and it makes it so much easier to like plug those two worlds together. Make sure you check out the package on GitHub and also make sure you give them a star as well. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.